Okay, in this video, we're going to find something called the centroid of a triangle using line segments called medians. Now, let's, let's define some of those. What is a median? And then what is a centroid? So a median is a line segment that is, let me write this down. So it's a line segment, right? which means it has a beginning, an end point, and a starting point. It's drawn from the vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. Okay, so it's a line segment from vertex to midpoint. Let me just write this up here correctly. To midpoint of the opposite side. Of opposite, we're out of room here, opposite side. So for example, I'm going to draw it from, let's say, this point A here to the midpoint somewhere. Let's just eyeball this, and let's say it's at right about there, okay? Same thing from this one, from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Uh, let's say it's something right around... That looks pretty good, right about there. And then the same thing for this one. Looks like it goes from there to, I don't know, right about there. All right? So from the midpoint to the midpoint of the opposite, excuse me, the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So it looks like it's approximately there in a triangle. Now, if you're a really good drawer, you could be able to do that precisely, right? But we have to try to do this mathematically. All right? So... Let me just go ahead and do this up here. So we want to find this mathematically. There's actually a really nice, simple formula that we can use. Okay, and the formula is this. So the x for the centroid, so I'm going to say x sub c, right there, right, is going to be equal to the x value of the a, plus the x value of the b and the x value of the c. So let's do that. The x sub a plus x sub b plus x sub c all divided by 3. Okay? Same thing with the y's. The y value for the centroid, it's right here, is going to be equal to the y value of the a coordinate, so sub a, plus the y value of the b coordinate, plus the y value of the c coordinate, again, all divided by 3. If we were to do that for this particular triangle, let's just substitute in our numbers, x sub c would be equal to negative 6 plus a positive 6, plus a negative 4, all divided by 3. Looks like that's going to give me uh, negative 6 plus 6, actually just cancels, and I get negative 4 over 3. And that actually looks pretty good, like a negative 4 thirds along the x, uh, along the x line, right? Along the x-axis. So that looks okay. Let's try it with the y values. Negative 8 plus 0 plus a positive 4, again divided by 3. Negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4 over 3. So negative 4 over 3. And even though it's not quite proportional, it's pretty much in the right vicinity, right? So it looks like my centroid, my x y centroid is located at negative four-thirds and negative four-thirds, and that would be my answer using this formula. I hope that was helpful.